one of the easiest ways to be present is to slow down. When you slow down your movement, slow down your breathing, sorry, yeah. We had this conversation. Yes. I was explaining to you how in the West Indies, people walk really slow. Hmm. And then when you come back over to England, everybody's rushing about. And you emphasised on that. You were talking about how to be present, you must slow down. People who rush are either in the past or they're nervous or fearful or something. When you... First of all, I want to ask a question about that because I remember it to a degree. How was the psych- how how were their psych- what was the psychology of the people that were walking slowly? They were just happy, just in the moment, talking amongst themselves. People were holding hands. You know, there's there's no rush. It's hot. <laughs> so, would you would you say they were present? Yeah, I think in in what I noticed mostly. That when you slow down, you're able to focus more on what's around you. So in the West Indies, it doesn't matter who walks past you, you say good morning, you say good night, you say good afternoon. In the UK, we're so rushed, you don't even have the time to say good morning to people. You don't even speak to people. I mean, if that's an example I could use. It's hard to be present when you are urgent. When you have a sense of urgency, that indicates or suggests... A potential threat. If you're constantly living in urgency, you're living in danger. That's what your mind is picking up. Because when you're constantly moving very quickly to get something done or get somewhere, that sense of urgency, that speed of movement suggests that there's something you're running away from or there's something you're moving towards, but it's it's linked to your protection. It's linked to a need for control to feel safe. So you create the illusion of danger that isn't even there. And that's why people are stressed when, they're, when, they have, when they practice this urgency constantly. When you slow down, you are actively telling your body that everything's okay. You're actively telling your body that I'm relaxed, I'm calm, I am safe, I'm in control, everything's fine. Once you do that, suddenly you will feel more relaxed. So when you slow down, you're suggesting safety. When you speed up, you're suggesting danger. Now, there is more that we can talk about to flesh that out because there are times that you may want to speed up a bit. But I guess that would be a topic for another day because this is a big topic, as you know, because we did have a similar conversation about this. Mm. But in general, when you slow down, you suggest safety. And the second thing is when you slow down, you're spending more time in what you're doing more moments you're being more present if i'm if i'm moving my hand like that okay i can still talk to you but if i start to slow down and be consciously aware of how fast it is and just try to do it as slowly you see now I try to do it even slower it's hard for me to juggle both Being present prevents multitasking, which is very stressful for the body. And multitasking isn't actually real. You're basically single tasking very quickly. Mm -hmm. But when you slow down, you can no longer multitask. If there's a tipping, there's a tipping point, there's a breaking point. You, you slow down to the degree that nothing else can exist in that moment. If you are to continue this action, but that action. Slowing down is one of the easiest and fastest ways to be present. And I previously mentioned that when you're in the present moment, you can't feel pain, emotional pain, because emotional pain lives in the past and the future. So when you slow down, when you're stressed, you become more present. You, your mind comes back from the past or the future and emotional pain cannot exist, begins to diminish. So slowing down physically is actually a great way to be present and help you manage your emotions. Doing it for three to four to five minutes of walking very slowly, like really, really slowly, like in slow motion, bullet time, you're just just (laughs) slowing down, like the matrix. That is so powerful to suddenly help you connect with the moment, connect with yourself. And it clears your mind because you can no longer think of the past and the future. Because all you have is this. Because mm. you slowed it down enough for everything else to disappear. 
The dimensions close. The gates, the gateways to the dimensions close. And the emotions within those dimensions are blocked from you. And all you're left with is this moment. Peace. And then you can revisit an issue that you want to solve, but you're in a better state now. And that's the power of that.